Welcome back Flamingos. Today I'm going to do a review of Antijitos in City Walk. So this is a lovely Mexican inspired restaurant in City Walk in Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida area. Um, we recently had the privilege to eat there the other day and I did want to go ahead and get this video out because they are doing a Mardi Gras offering and I wanted to tell you about it. So currently for Mardi Gras, they are offering the crawfish enchiladas for $17.95. You can use the um, Mardi Gras food card to buy this one thing in this restaurant. So the crawfish enchiladas are excellent. Um, they were well seasoned. The flavor was excellent. Um, the enchiladas on a whole were absolutely delicious. I highly recommend them if you're into crawfish. And even if you're not, you would not know it was crawfish because it is absolutely delicious. And it's not like the whole little critter or anything. It's all deshelled. It's just the meat into the enchilada and it is perfect. Um, my only complaint was the side, which was like beans and rice, and those um, left something to be desired. But you're there for the crawfish enchiladas, not the beans and rice. So there you go. We also ordered the uh, house table side made guacamole. Um, oh my gosh, this was phenomenal. Not only was it a fun experience, but it is... Um, some of the best guac I've ever had out of what I make at home. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend it. It is a little pricey. It was like 15-ish bucks. Uh, so not cheap, but it is absolutely to die for. The, so they bring out like this whole cart and a signed person makes your guacamole for you table side. So they're, you know, uh, scooping out the avocado and then they have like a whole list of ingredients and you can omit or add as much or as little of any of it that you want and they're happy to do it to your liking. So another thing that is absolutely noteworthy is their salsa and chips. Um, while I have had some better chips, their salsa was excellent. It was not runny, um, it was chunky, and my kitty cat has decided to come do the video with me. This is Luna, everybody. I'm sure y'all see Midnight if you've watched some of my other videos. Um, but anyway, salsa, chips, also very good. So while we were there, I also tried one of their margaritas. I did the strawberry spicy jalapeno margarita. It was excellent. Uh, it was over the rocks, not frozen. Um, I don't think they offer the frozen variety, um, but it was pretty good. Um, we also got the Mexican coffee, which was an alcoholic coffee drink, and it was really good also. Um, it was a nice kind of um, pick-me-up, chill-out kind of drink in the afternoon. While we were there, we also decided to try their tacos al pastor, and we tried, um, and we tried the cappuccino. Probably a really bad pronunciation of that, so I am sorry. Um, the Tacos El Pastor, um, they are not like the traditional El Pastor. So if you're familiar at all with, um, Hispanic cuisine and have had it in Mexico or some places, um, on the border in, uh, like Texas and California, it is not that. Um, this is basically just pulled pork. Um, it was tasty, but it's not what you think of when you think about Pastor. Um, the other ones were excellent, well flavored, well seasoned, um, no complaints overall with either outside of the fact that they were a touch on the dry side, but good overall. Hey Flamingos, help me out. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Thanks in advance. The restaurant overall was pretty coolly themed. Um, there was a whole wall. Um, on your way back to the bathrooms that had these uh, decorated naked doll baby things. I snuck in some pictures, so I'll show you those. Um, it was cool and weird all at the same time. Uh, it did look like they do some stage shows, maybe live music. Um, when we were there, they were not doing that. 
Um, but it's a pretty cool place overall. And I think for the most part, if you're going during a Friday or Saturday or Sunday or holiday or any busy time, you're going to want to get a reservation. Um, we went on a Thursday around like 3.30 and didn't have any problems getting in without a reservation. Um, but it's, it's better to be safe than sorry and just go ahead and get a reservation if you really want to eat here. So leave me a comment down below. Uh, what's your favorite thing that you've had there? Um, do you have any tips or recommendations? Um, I'd love to hear from you. And until the next time, Flamingos, me and Luna say shake a tail feather. <laughs>